What have Linux Mint and Gentoo got in common? Both distributions have been hacked. And we could go further and mention that Ubuntu forums have been hacked, and KD Neon, well, that may or may not have been hacked, but at one point the code repository was unsecure, so we don't know on that one, inconclusive. Yep, Gentoo was hacked, their GitHub page. No, okay, we can appreciate that many organizations have been hacked, and actually it's their response is what we should be judging them on, and the response from Gentoo has actually been very professional, and they've done a post-instant review, which is what we're going to look through in this video. But to take a look back at a bit of history, yes, the next Mint was hacked, the ISO had one of the packages changed, and that uh, would send data to another IP address. KD Neon, yeah, when their package archives were incorrectly configured, they don't actually know whether anything was changed. That was pretty bad, actually. I would have hoped they would have been able to work out what had been changed. Maybe they could have used some checksums to find out. But anyway, their advice there was to reinstall. And the Ubuntu forums, yeah, well, I think they've been done over twice. So. As far as timelines go, they were all 2016. Yeah, so they've been pretty quiet for a little while. Hey, we can be happy of that. But Gentoo put out an initial announcement on the 28th of June at 21.14. Now, I take it that all times are in UTC. So today at 28th of June, approximately 2020 UTC, so 55 minutes after they were hacked. <laughs> Unknown individuals gain control of GitHub Gentoo organization and modify the content and repositories, as well as pages there. The average time it takes to detect the data breach is 206 days. So yeah, Gen 2 are considerably beaten that with their 55 minutes record. Okay. Fair play to them. And it did not actually affect all users because their code repository on their own website was unaffected. It was the mirror on GitHub that was affected. They've carried out a post-instant review and learned quite a few lessons from this. And I have to say that if you're a Gen 2 user, I would not rush to leave the distribution because they seem to have actually handled the incident in a professional manner and learned the steps to take to make their distribution more secure. And it may be a case that other distributions actually make a much worse effort or don't necessarily realize they've been hacked so quick. So the summary is an unknown entity, okay, let's just say an unknown attacker gained control of the admin account for the Gentoo GitHub organization, removed access to the organization and its repositories from Gentoo developers and then proceeded to make various changes to content. The developers escalated to GitHub support, and the Gentoo organization was frozen by GitHub staff. Gentoo has regained control of GitHub and reverted all bad commits and defaced content. So the impact was approximately five days of GitHub being unavailable for Gentoo use. The attacker attempted to wipe user content by adding RMRF to various repositories, however this code was unlikely to be executed by end users due to various technical guards in place. Initial clones of the repositories during these time intervals will have malicious content. Gentoo recommends recreating these from new clone if you are cloned during this period, and that is a period listed there. The root cause appears to be password reuse from one developer. They've written out what went well, and they appear to have had quite a bit of assistance from GitHub. So what went badly, and there's two items in particular, they did not have a backup copy of Gentoo GitHub organization detail, and the system D repo is not mirrored from Gentoo, but is stored directly on GitHub. Oops, I expect that delayed their recovery procedure. The attack was loud, removing all developers caused everyone to get emailed. Yeah, that sounds a particularly poor approach on the attacker, perhaps they weren't aware of what they were doing there. And no doubt that's how the developers knew very quickly that they'd been hacked. They've produced a timeline of what has occurred, and it looks like for two months the recon activity was taking place. Well, actually nearly three months there. So the logs indicate that various GitHub accounts are being probed looking for vulnerable accounts. And at 2019, on the 28th of June, attacker tries a bad password on the account. Immediately afterwards, in the same minute, the attacker successfully gains administrative access, so they made two attempts and got in. They obviously knew what the password was, or it was so obvious on the password reuse. And six minutes later, the attacker created a new account with administrative access. Yeah, that, that's all sort of playing through very normal activity from an attacker. But then they start removing valid users. Well, that was their big mistake there. And then we've got various timelines of commits, and then we've got various timelines of malicious commits. The first abuse report was made at 2049. 
so very quickly. There's various other times and actions printed out here, and I'll leave a link to all this in the video description. Later in the day, GitHub formed a response of audit logs and security recommendations, for example, implementing multi-factor authentication. In their action items, they have reviewed the multi-factor authentication requirements for GitHub and reduced the number of people with GitHub owner power. And it, that's fair enough, it's going to be harder to compromise a GitHub account in the future. So yes, Gento are hacked, but their handling of the incident is very professional and I do have to commend them on that. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're using Gentoo, don't rush to leave distribution just because of this incident. No, I would actually probably say it's worth using the distribution because of this incident. Although I'm not going to because Gen 2 is just too complicated and I don't have enough hours in the day. Hey, that's just my opinion really. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.